I'm Marty Swanson and I am a felter. I do wet felting and needle felting. Um, right now I'm working on one of my little mini mint landscapes uh, doing needle felting. So I make landscapes with wool and I use a series of needles, um, different gauges to create different effects. And then I can take my wool and just kind of put it where I, would, where I want it, like you would do if you were painting. And I build up layers, um, and I like to build up reliefs. So you'll end up with layers. And there's some of my finished works. I don't know if you can see them well. This is felting. We're agitating the fibers and meshing them together. Make sure you don't have any friction on there. You don't want to gouge into it. Mm -hmm. And as you go, you can start to increase your pressure a little bit. This is a wet felted bowl. I taught a class yesterday, and so this was my sample that I worked on. And it is currently drying still, and so I'm shaping it as it goes. When you're working with wool making vessels and such it's very similar to working with clay um, where you can have a soft clay that's very plastic and it won't hold its shape and when the bowl is fresh and wet it tends to not hold its shape but as it dries i can come through and shape it and it will hold its body a little better so right now i'm working on the bottom here so that i have a good base for it to stand on and then i will go in and start to open it up a bit So when I, when I make a pot, sometimes it'll take overnight to dry and I'll come back to it and keep working on it as I go. Very much like you would do with, with clay. You know, you have to get to a certain dryness, plasticity to be able to hold shapes. So now that it's dried quite a bit, still has some moisture, I can start to gently open it up um, to shape. I kind of like these undulations that I've got going in there. And so I can kind of come through and go back through and kink up and it will hold that shape as it dries. Some of my bowls have a small hole, you know, and I can get in and shape them that way too. So they're really forgiving. Mm -hmm. Like if, I, if that got crunched up. Yeah. Right, you know, um, I can kind of fill it back out and then I just take my little tool and pop it back into shape because it's dry. So it has that memory to go back into that shape.